And with this dangerous temperature we're expecting this week, there are certain steps that you can take to protect your home. KBC 9's Matt Evans is live this morning with a few key pieces of advice in an effort to spare you some major home headaches. Hey Matt, good morning. Good morning to you, Rob. If you've lived in Kansas City or the Midwest for long enough, you probably know a few tricks of the trade. For example, opening up cabinet doors. If you have a sink or a faucet along an exterior wall of your home, that keeps the warm air from your home circulating and hitting those pipes. The other thing you can do, of course, is by turning on just a small stream or a small drip of water in your faucets. That's going to keep water moving through your system and Water that's moving is a lot less likely to freeze than stagnant water. Something else that you can do to take extra precautions or some more insurance policies uh, this week when it gets extremely cold. If you have some exposed pipes, like a copper pipe coming into your home that's up against an exterior wall that's not insulated or it's not in a finished basement or it's not in a heated area or a crawl space, something of that nature, these pipes get really, really cold, really susceptible to freezing and bursting. And you can go to any hardware store and get some copper pipe insulation. This is not actually just for copper pipe. This could be for any kind of pipe that you might have. And it's really easy to use. All you do is you just slide that insulation around that pipe. And then this yellow part here, that is adhesive. And you just peel that off, stick it together, and you've got insulated pipes. Simple as that. Something else you can do if you have outdoor water spigots or outdoor uh, water faucets, you can get one of these to, uh, to, to, to insulate that. All you do is you slip this over the faucet itself and then pretty much you zip tie it to your house like that. And this will keep those faucets warm by using your home to insulate them and also by using the warm air coming from the indoor pipes to the outdoor pipes. Something else you can do is if you feel that cold air coming through your windows or coming through the edge of your window or edge of your door, try to seal up any kind of cracks with the, with some caulk. All it takes is just a really small bead to try and seal up all those cracks and holes in your home. Of course, that's going to help you out in the long run too, not just during these cold months, but during the warm months as well, trying to keep that outdoor air outside. Something else that's important to note is you should know where your water shutoff valve is and how to shut off your water. It's right, usually right where the water comes into your home. It's either a, a turn knob or maybe a, a lever that shuts off your water. And if you get a burst pipe, it's important to shut off that water as quickly as you possibly can to try and minimize the damage. Back to you, Rob.